I could be Disney Channel's number one fan, I'm just saying. So make it pink or make it blue. My workshop is ready. Am I sleeping tonight? I have no idea. Time for a fashion show. Actually, wait, I feel like I'm playing dress up in my mom's closet. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the preparing for Disneyland vlog. I am so excited. I leave for Disneyland in less than a week. Honestly, I think I'm actually more stressed right now in this current moment. I have so much to do this week before we go, so let me fill you guys in on exactly what's going on. Side note, I just got this iced passion. It was like iced passion tea tango tea and I think it's good and I also just love this little color. But wow, this week is going to be so exciting, but just also really stressful, I think. And I'm so excited because I'm going to Disneyland specifically for Disney Channel night, which is exactly what you think it would be. It's a special after hours ticketed event and it's themed to Disney Channel. So let me show you guys what they're going to have there. They finally released like all the details. This is like the night of all nights for me. I think I could be Disney Channel's number one fan. I'm just saying. I'm also going to be going to like the parks and stuff too but like the reason for the trip is disney channel night and i'm just so excited yes i know who i'm dressing up as and no i'm not going to tell you in this vlog i'm going to keep it a secret until the day of so make sure you're following me on my instagram at emily 8 and my tiktok too at emily 8 because i'm probably going to do the reveal over there first but of course i'll let you guys know too so let me tell you guys what they're going to have at disney channel night like what there is to do so there's a descendants musical journey at the rivers of america and I don't know exactly what that means because I don't really know what the Rivers of America is. It says, come aboard the sailing ship Columbia for a musical journey with songs from all three Descendants movies. Which, yes, I know the songs to all three movies, but I'm confused if that's, like, on a ship or or if there's gonna be a ship and then I, like, watch the ship. I don't know. There's Descend Dance at the River of America. And it's like, uh, just like a dance party. There's Disney Channel Rocks, which is a rock concert style stage show. High School Musical and Zombies Pep Rally. Amazing. Camp Rock Karaoke and Disney Channel Trivia in the Golden Horseshoe Saloon. That is gonna be so fun. I might just have to be there all night. I also am not a karaoke person. I get very, very shy, but for this, I'll do it. I'll do it. I told my friend, I was like, if you want to sing the camp rock, this is me. I'll be your Joe Jonas. Would love to. So like the big like iconic character that's going to be meeting is Kim Possible, who I've definitely seen pictures of her meeting in the parks, but I don't think I've ever seen her in person. So that'll be cool. And then there's going to be more too. There's going to be really cool like photo spots. There's a step and repeat. I'm just so excited. And the special keepsake I'm pretty sure you get like a Disney Channel wand or something Disney Channel. And then other than that, like I said, I'm going to do a few days in Disneyland, California Adventure, and like a little LA day, which I'm so excited for. And we get to see Pix Our Place Hotel. That is a brand new hotel that just reopened. I've been watching like vlogs to kind of prepare to see like what is going on. And fingers crossed, I've seen Bing Bong like walking around and you could meet him. And also Joe Gardner playing the piano. I just feel like I'm going to cry. Like it just seems like the place of dreams and magic i am so excited and i will be vlogging so stay on the lookout for those videos make sure you subscribe so you can be notified when they're up so here's everything we need to do before saturday i need to pick out all of my outfits i'm waiting for a few packages to arrive but most of my clothes are here i also want to make a charm necklace that might be my new thing um making like a little disneyland charm necklace i feel like those are more expensive so i'm only gonna make like one charm necklace i'm actually gonna make one for flower and garden as well as disneyland and then speaking of flower and garden the opening day of flower and garden is this week on wednesday so that's gonna be happening among everything else and then i need to get my nails done i love these nails but i want to do like a special disneyland design i just need to pack i need to go to the mall because i bought a few things the other day which i'm going to show you that are so cute but i might need to like exchange a size or two or something i need to go to sephora i need to go to target i need to do all like the essential runs and then i'm also going to magic kingdom later today and i want to look in the emporium and just add some of the merch because i think i want to get a pair of winnie the pooh ears and maybe a new like new emo or two for some of my outfits so we've got a lot to do, but it's going to be a really exciting week. The first thing I want to do, though, is I have a little haul for you guys. So I'm wearing one of the bags now. Look how cute this little bag is. It's from the brand Lug Life, and they were so kind to let me pick out a bunch of bags for my trip and just for, like, parks and life in general. And so I want to show you guys what I got because they're so cute. And I don't know if the camera's picking up on it, but this bag is, like, it's, like, iridescent. 
kind of shiny. So I'm back home and look at all of these bags. I'm so excited to show you guys. So this brand is called Lug or Lug Life and they make bags for everything. So like travel, everyday wear, etc. They even have cute little crossbody bags that have Disney characters on them. So they have like Who Bear, Figment. I think they're going to do an orange bird one for flower and garden, but those sell out so fast. So I don't have those yet. I'm waiting till I'm in the park at the right time so I can snatch one. But for now, let me show you some things I picked out. So the first bag I'm going to show you guys is this beautiful little yellow gingham. Another one I got is this like polka dot crossbody. To me, this is giving Minnie Mouse vibes. Like even with my outfit today, this would be so cute. This is a little toiletry case. And first of all, this color is amazing. They have a great color section. But what I love is that it's lined. So like all the time when I travel with like toothpaste and a toothbrush and stuff that spills, it's easy to clean off and it doesn't ruin and stain my bags because that actually keeps happening to me and it's so sad. I got this little crossbody bag that I think I'm going to wear on the first like my first Disneyland day. But I also got this blue crossbody bag, same idea. This one just will like sit like that and this one would sit like that, you know? So make it pink or make it blue. I'm gonna decide later what bag I wanna do. And then I also picked out this, I think it's a good carry-on bag or like a good overnight bag that will sit on top of a suitcase. And this is in that like beautiful champagne color that the bag I'm wearing today is in. I just love the like the shimmer. At least right now, the one thing I have is all of my travel bags. Like we're good there. So now it's time to make a charm necklace. I am so excited. I've only done this once and it was at my Galentine's. Me and my friend made little charm necklaces. They were so cute. And that gave me the idea to maybe start making them for like different occasions. So kind of like the friendship bracelets. But these are definitely like a level up from the bracelets. They take a little bit more effort and talent. I was actually really struggling when I was making my necklace with my friend. So I don't know how this is gonna work. And the thing is, is I have two Disneyland potential outfits. I definitely wanna do like a pink and blue Sleeping Beauty, like more like classic and sweet Disneyland vibe. And then I wanna do more of like Toontown, Minnie Mouse, red, maybe some yellow, Winnie the Pooh vibe. So I have both of those outfits but I only have two necklace chains and one I'm gonna use for flower and garden. I guess I could order another one. So we'll see how this goes if I really wanna make like a red and yellow necklace and then a pink and blue necklace. I got a notification on my way home that I had something in my Amazon locker. I totally forgot. I also ordered a charm necklace. There's a little bow, there's a cow boot, there's a shell and oh, there's a heart and a star. I think I ordered this for Jessie because of the cowgirl boot. This, so I think this necklace was called like Coastal Cowgirl and I'm gonna link pretty much everything I can and that I show you in this video. I'll try to link it down below, either on my Amazon storefront or just wherever. So like this is not a Jessie necklace, but I thought it would be good. This is so cute. This can be like our model necklace. So let me show you guys the charms that I have. So the first little pack I got is flowers and butterflies. And then I got a little pack of Mickey's. There's a better Disney pack that I liked, but it wasn't going to come in time. And then I also got like, this has like ladybugs, dragonflies, bumblebees, super spring. Okay, my workshop is ready. Let's make a little charm necklace. So I think for a charm necklace, it's good to have five charms. So I think I'm gonna do a little Mickey in the middle. And then I think it's cute to do a mixture of like big and small charms too. Probably a yellow butterfly, maybe a yellow flower, red ladybug and a red bumblebee. That's the fun part is like laying out the charms. This is the hard part. So I'm gonna get these tiny little rings and then it comes with this little thing that looks like a ring and then you put it in here and you like twist it ah, so it creates a little opening and you put the thing through the charm you put the charm through the loop and then you close your little hole that you made with the tweet with the pliers this is the hard part because I'm getting it stuck in like the wrong loop. I think I got it. Charm one down. That's actually kind of cute just on its own. Okay, it looks super cute. What do we think? I can make it sit higher if I really want to, but 
I think it's kind of cute. I think it takes some getting used to because I made it. So when I see it, I'm like, oh, that's a craft. I think I'm gonna wear it tonight to Magic Kingdom and like see if it holds up, see if anything falls, see if it's like annoying. That'll be, that'll be like the true test. But we did it, we made a little charm necklace. Okay, I just finished making the flower and garden one and I love how it turned out. I did the same spacing on this one, but the chain little links are a little bit bigger. So this one is more spaced out. I think it would look a little better if they were just one link closer, but I absolutely do not want to go back through and take every single one off and then put it on again. So I might just, I might just stick with this. And then I'll show you guys my dress because by the time you're seeing this, all my flower and garden stuff should already be out. So go watch the vlog if you haven't already. So this is my favorite dress ever. It's from Free People and I bought it for myself as a birthday gift back last year. I haven't been like saving it for flower and garden, but I've had this idea to wear it for flower and garden since I got it. So this with the necklace... See, I, I love that the Mickey is teal because it brings out the teal in the dress. We have a little purple, a little pink. I think that's going to look so, so cute. Okay, so I changed and I'm all ready to go to the parks. Me and my friend decided to go to Hollywood Studios instead of Magic Kingdom. It just seemed like a little bit more of a chill night. Maybe we'll catch Fantasmic. If we do, I haven't watched that show in so, so long. But then there, I'm also going to try to look for poo ears and maybe a new emo. And just anything that like catches my eye but this is my little outfit and i'm wearing my new charm necklace we'll see what my friend thinks maybe she'll compliment it and be like oh that's so cute or if she doesn't say anything that'll be my sign that it doesn't probably look good <laughs> I leave in two days. Well, like, I have one more day left before I leave. I am so stressed at the moment. Like, I'm so excited, but this is the point of, like, the pack and prep where I'm just super stressed and, like, there's just not enough time to do everything I'd like to do. So that's where we're at. One of these days, I, I hope to plan a trip where I'm not stressed. <laughs> I'm wearing my new flower and garden shirt, by the way. I think it's so cute, spring has sprung. But it is time for probably my favorite part of like packing for a trip and that is trying on all of the outfits. I have so many outfit options, so we're just gonna go through like a few of them and then I am gonna save my Disney Channel night outfit. I think that one is the one I have the most together, so thank goodness that's like the most important one. Time for a fashion show. So I put everything I could possibly wear on my bed. So we've gotta first pick the airport fit. I for sure want to wear this little zip up hoodie. I don't know why. I'm obsessed with it. I think it's so cute. And Minnie Mouse is on the back too. So even like walking through the airport, it's like, oh, we know where she's going. Honestly, I'm super excited because I think that today we're going to get to go to Pixar Place, which I'm so excited for. This is what I'm thinking for little fit. And then my pant options are either these white pants or these black pants. Surprisingly, I like the black pants more, and I just feel like these are gonna be a lot comfier for travel anyways. Little sunglasses moment if I wanna get stylish. Oh, oh yes. I don't know why, but I feel like California is like, that's where everybody just wears sunglasses. That's it, this is my hopped off a plane at LAX fit. Okay, yay, done, check. Okay, so this was my Pixar place fit which was like essentially a jesse fit but i don't know why i like don't i'm not i'm not feeling the vibe i don't know what it is this jacket is super comfy i kind of thought that i'd wear the jacket like off the shoulder and i love the pants let me show you guys i literally got cow print pants for this I love the pants. I don't think the pants are the problem. I am going to the mall tomorrow and my original like thought for this outfit was a denim at H&M. They had this like denim peplum top. What do you guys think? And yes, I do have sunglasses <laughs> and 
And yes, I do have uh, cow print sunglasses. Two. <laughs> actually, wait. I actually didn't. I thought that might be too much cow print, but I mean, hey, it's Disney. Okay, so now it's time for my first park day. We're just gonna do like a full Disneyland and California Adventure little park hopper day. So I have this little Disneyland tee that I bought last year and I have this teal set that I think I bought in my last week in life vlog. It is so, and it weirdly works so good together. So I was thinking we could do either pink or blue ears if you have a real life Aurora situation. And then we could do a pink or blue bag. The thing is though, is I don't know how like cold it is. Here in Orlando, this is a Disney World fit, you know? But over there, I don't, I don't know. So we could do something like this and then probably with pink ears. I also have these coral ears and these ears which have pretty much the same pink, but then a little gray. Ooh, I kind of like that. So I think this is just gonna be too, hmm. That works too. This is the pink option. Let's try the blue option. And then I also have a pink or blue option for the pants. The cool thing about the blue bag though is I have literally the exact shade in ears. That's that's literally perfect. I just, I'm just not a blue girl. Like I would rather wear pink than blue. That's why I want to wear the pink. But that's like almost too perfect to not, to not wear. And then I thought, well, what if we did this but with pink pants? What do we think? I kind of love it. Ugh, I don't know. I actually kind of like the millennial pink when it comes to the pink pants. I think this is the fit. I like the pop of blue. You know what I have. A blue jacket. Okay, let's see. I feel like the jacket has to be blue now at this point. Oh, this. Fire. <laughs> Now we're on to day three, which is going to be a Disneyland day. I wanted to do maybe two outfits. So the first one I'm thinking is this like pink and blue, a more Sleeping Beauty vibes. This one's going to be more like, like cutesy. Like yesterday I wanted to be my more casual outfit. This would be my more like nicer outfit. I don't know. What do we think? I'll grab the millennial pink just in case. Um... Because that's what I was thinking originally. But there's something I feel like missing about this outfit. <laughs> I, that actually kind of helps, yeah. I just feel like it's missing an accessory. So I put on a little white tube top because I was thinking, I feel like maybe it was the neckline. I like the pink. The pink on pink was cute, but I feel like the neckline was too much because now you can see my little necklace and I feel like the sweater fits better. I do kind of like the millennial pink ears though, if we're not gonna do a pink top. I like both, honestly. So yesterday at Flower and Garden, I got this Spidey new emo. I'm obsessed and his little his mask it comes off he's kind of kind of ugly <laughs> not ugly but like I'm so excited this is the fit there's no there's no question for me honestly I feel like I'm playing dress up in my mom's closet I kind of love this I put this on just totally randomly this wasn't even the outfit I thought um, the funny thing about this shirt is that I feel like it's giving Miley Stewart from Hannah Montana the movie. She like literally wears this shirt and I think overalls. So this is giving that same vibe. I also have this outfit. <laughs> for like Toontown. I also have this. I just last minute put this together for like Cars Land, San Francisco. Let's hope everything fits in my suitcases. camera on and it says I have two minutes and 22 seconds left to record what does it mean oh 
my gosh, I think I just got my favorite nails that I've ever gotten in my life. I mean, look at them. I'm obsessed. I went to the nail place that I always go to, Embellished by Miriam. I even saw a few friends there. Like, guys, I'm telling you, this is the place to go. John did my nails, and he's absolutely incredible. Like, I cannot recommend this place more. My inspo was my Halloween nails from... I started doing them, I think, two years ago. Every time I go to Disneyland or even on a cruise, those are just the nails that I get. And so I wanted to do a pink and blue version this time since a lot of my outfits are pink and blue. But also... Wait, oh, I haven't told you guys what I'm doing yet. Oh, wait. <laughs> Never mind. I haven't told you guys who I'm dressing up as for Disney Channel night, but let's just say I think she would also wear these nails. I would love for you guys to comment down below and let me know who you think I'm going to dress up as for Disney Channel night. There's literally so many amazing options and I, I, it took me so long to like narrow down this person that I'm going to do. So next we are going to go to the mall. Also, yes, I do leave for Disneyland in less than 24 hours. I'm like freaking out, but I'm also like so excited. It's, we're somewhere right in between, but I need to go to the mall. I have a bunch of returns to do. I need to make sure I have like all the makeup that I need for this trip, like the moisturizers. I feel like my skin has been really like dry and kind of gross. I'm going to try to go to box lunch because I have a few shirts when I want to return, when I want to get a different size in, and then I want to go to Hot Topic because I do have a return. Yeah, so I think I'm going to go to the Florida mall, which isn't my favorite mall. It kind of scares me a little bit, and, and it's a Friday night. Like this is not the time to be going to the mall. Um, there's probably going to be traffic i'm very nervous honestly but they have all the best stores and then it'll be time to pack and then time to go am i sleeping tonight i have no idea that's the big question i'll keep you guys updated i'm stopped at a light are you kidding me my messages also say 222 what is going on <laughs> power walking through that mall just so I could get in and out as fast as possible because there's just so many people and anyways I'm back and I decided to get Auntie Anne's so good I was so starving I was gonna cook tonight and I have some leftover chicken like that was just gonna be my dinner but I was so hungry so I guess this is my dinner slash snack but I got the little pretzel bites they're so good and I got their strawberry lemonade like that was a very good decision on my part but I thought I would give you guys a little haul of what I got. I actually don't even think I showed you guys, but from Box Lunch, I got this Jesse Spirit, no, not Spirit Jersey, like Jersey. <laughs> it's like a sports jersey. Um, it was so cute and I didn't like want to return it. I don't know. I just didn't really like any of the outfits I was putting together and it just felt, it just looked really oversized. And at this point, I already have so many outfits. So like, I don't need another outfit. So I decided to get some money back and I returned that. And I also had a little poo shirt I returned too because I like my other poo outfit, the little gingham one better. And I'm also trying to get as much money back as possible. So I did that. And then I went to Airy, returned a few things. I went to Hot Topic. I returned these jeans that were so cute i was so mad that they didn't have the right size they were like way too baggy in every way possible i found them in like the clearance section there was only one pair left so it was one of those things where like i was like i need to buy it and just see if maybe there's something i can do i can hem them what but it it was like a no-go and then i went to sephora oh i went to h&m i'll show you h&m first so i found this little denim top and this is what i was looking for for one of my jesse outfits so cute i love the puff sleeves i love the denim it's super comfortable i think it is technically denim but it's like this stretchy denim honestly probably super cheap denim but hey it was super comfy so i bought that i'm worried that it's gonna be a little bit too cropped for my liking but I'm gonna try that on with the cow print pants. I think if it works, it'll be super, super cute. I mean, I like the idea of like an inverted 
Actually, I guess that's technically not inverted, but like Jesse has denim pants. I think it's cool to do like a denim top. The good news is that I didn't end up spending more money than I got back. Like I still think I got some back, some money back from doing my returns. The bad news is I did get a lot of things. So first thing I got is this It Cosmetics CC Cream. I was all out and I wear this every day. So I was like, I need to get it. The next thing I got is I exchanged my House Labs foundation and I got um, a few shades darker. This is 110 Light Neutral. And when I put it on my hand, it actually looked perfect. So I'm super excited to see how this looks on. I got a Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I don't think I have a travel size version, so I figured that would just be good. I got my favorite hair oil. This is the Kerastase Ultimate Elixir. I got this. I have a full size of this, but I got a travel version, even just for like to put in my purse when I go to the parks. I feel like this is almost a necessity. Maybe not so much in California, but definitely here it is. I got my First Aid Beauty oil-free moisturizer. I'm about to run out of mine, and I would hate to like run out of moisturizer on a trip. So I figured let me just get a full size, that way I don't have to worry. And then the last thing I got is this Youth to the People Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask. This is one of my favorite um, like face masks to make my skin look all dewy. That's my little haul, so I'm going to go home, and then we've got a pack. And, and it's go time from here. Like, I really want to go to sleep, but I'm prepared to not sleep because I have to leave my apartment at 4 p.m. 4 a.m. So, we'll see. I'm gonna end the vlog here. It is 4.30 in the morning. I'm about to go to the airport and go to Disneyland. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe so you can be notified when all the Disneyland vlogs come out. And I'll see you guys in California. Bye.